So Jeff Gearling's kind of got me interested in Raspberry Pi stuff again. I've been watching a lot of his videos lately on his various channels, and I had not used even an RPi4. So I went ahead and picked up an RPi5. I've gotten with the SSD here, so I needed like the taller enclosure because it's got to hold the SSD and the board for it, the hat for it. And yeah, I'm just, I'm not entirely thrilled about this case. It works, but I want a little bit more ventilation and stuff in it. So I decided I would try looking for some files for some that are already made and 3D print those and see if I like them. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. But first, let's go to our sponsor, PCBWay. Here we are in PCBWay's site. You've got, you know, your instant quote, CNC 3D printing, PCB assembly. They have product capabilities here listed that show you all the different kinds of PCBs and things they can do. They've got projects here that are shared, so you can go in and find things that you might want to do. But the thing that really is cool to me is they do 3D printing. When I need something printed in metal, I come here. I upload my STL or similar file. I put up what the quantity I want, design units, material, all this stuff. And you just send off the quote when it's done. Someone checks it. And once they've decided that it's going to be viable, they send you the price. Thanks, PCBWay, for sponsoring this video. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys rock. So now that we're back from PCBWay, who I may actually use to print some of these in metal, let's start taking a look at these cases here. And then there's this one. I liked it in gray just to look at it, so I wanted to print it in yellow. These are all done in PETG. So let me just pop this out of here real fast. If I remember how to get it out of here, there we go. Set this aside for a second. We'll just start with this one. I really like this because it had a lot of the ventilation. Let's see if we turn it around like this. Obviously, most of these I'm gonna need to screw this down in, otherwise they're gonna wibble wobble. But for the sake of expediency, we're not gonna do that. Um, same thing here. One thing, you know, I had a problem printing with these is you got a bunch of gunk in there, so I'd have to come in here and get a little screwdriver or something and kind of clean some of that plastic out to make it look a little bit better. It doesn't seem to actually want to stay down very well on itself. You do get a little seam there. Um, if I screwed the board in, you know, I would get a little bit better, but overall, I'm just not the biggest fan here. So I don't like that one. Let me set that there. I know, I know, I should have my rubber mat out, not this one, but it's okay. There's nothing on here that's critical if it does get zapped with electricity. It would stink, but not the end of the world. Let me set that on there for a second. See how this one comes apart. And see, like, a little bit of defects and stuff. Um, some of that's my printer fault, but some of it's the PETG. Some of it's just the design of these things. So, again... Now, this one, although I'm using the SSD on here, this one doesn't allow you to access the uh, SD card if you're using an SD card too. Ah, man, that's a tight fit. I have not actually tried this one yet. Let's see. This goes like this, I think. Oh, yeah. That does not like my M2 hat. So that one is a bust. It's just going to be way too tight. I like that one because it had a lot of air holes, but also, like, it seems like you're gonna compromise your structural integrity a little. Not like you're gonna be setting something heavy on there, but you need a little bit of overkit to get this lined up the right way. Set that there for a second. Now this one slides, which I kind of like, but then there's no way to actually secure it. So you do have that issue. It's always just gonna, if you pick it up, it's just gonna wanna come off. This was one someone was using for their network attached storage, so it has, you know, an ass on it there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They just, none of these like this, this, uh, this M2 hat from M key. Well, come on now. Work with me, bub. There we go. So again, there's no way to secure this in here. Uh, you can't screw it down. I mean, it, it holds it pretty good just from pressure, but not the biggest fan of that. Um, again, no way to attach it, but I can't access everything. Although the SD card is way recessed back in there. So you would need something to like poke that in and out. So I don't really like that one either. And set that there. That's another one that's a bust. Hopefully this one's not. 
since I printed it twice. This does have um, posts so you can screw it down, which I'm not quite a fan of. And it does have the, you know, pieces of plastic there. Okay, yeah, that fits nicely. You gotta actually have some room to spare there. Uh, you can get out to all the ports pretty easy. Doesn't add a whole lot of depth to them. And you've got a nice cutout for the SD card. So, cool. Uh, again, though, just some little printing issues with supports and stuff. But that wouldn't be a problem if I had PCBWay do this. Let's see. How? Just like this. Yeah. I am really happy with that. Even without a screw, that is very secure in there. I'm getting a little bit of wobble. You've got adequate ventilation on all sides. Again, a little printing defect I need to clean up. But I am pretty stinking happy with that. And then you've got the little button to help you push the power switch. So let's take a look at this in the yellow. So what do you guys do with your Raspberry Pis? Um, like I said, I haven't used one in a long time. I have a Pi Zero that runs my Pi Star for DMR Digital Mobile Radio, but the developer of Pi Star announced a while back, maybe six months at this point, that he is done developing it. And I just don't really have time for DMR radio right now. DMR is where you take your amateur radio and then you, um, most people, they will then use something like a Pi Star, which acts as a little receiver and then puts that on the internet. And then you can pop out either on someone's repeater in the real world. Um, there are some instances of that, or you just talk to other people that are doing the same digital stuff. And it gives you a way to kind of talk to people that you may otherwise not be able to with a um, VHF or UHF radio. So it's kind of cool like that, but usually it's just people like, hey, you know, CQ, CQ, KD19WC calling CQ. And then you talk to someone in North, I mean, South Korea or Japan or Germany or whatever for a couple seconds. And you can do that with Windlink. I haven't had that Pi Star and that Pi Zero even powered since the guy announced he was gonna stop developing it. So yeah. I don't, I don't really know what people do with them, but I, I love this. Uh, the, they have the SSD hat now. You can run on an SSD because then you don't have to worry about the cards being all crummy. I really like this yellow. This, this is nice. Dang. I wanted one printed in metal. Oops, help if I didn't drop it. Like that's not going anywhere in there at all. The very nice tolerances. And now that I think about it, metal might actually be bad because who knows where something's gonna ground out. But maybe I'll get PCB way to make me one of these in a uh, better plastic, something like maybe ABS or something. I can print ABS myself, but I'd rather not because my printers are inside and yeah, just a whole uh, whole pain, but they could do it or they could use some other sign kind of uh, engineering plastic. Maybe I'll get them to do it in nylon. Yeah, I really like that. But yeah, I, I wanna start doing some Raspberry Pi stuff on here. But our Pi stuff. Let me know in the comments. What, what are you doing? I Like someone was clearly doing an ass here. Was it, Which one was it? One of these was a said network attached storage on it. Yeah. Should I do that? I think Jeff Gearling uses his for all kinds of stuff. I think he has one that does his security cameras, a uh, bunch of other stuff. If you know any people that are doing cool things with these that like a normal person would want to do. Put the channel name in the comment. YouTube will censor links on its own. Sorry, that's not me. I'm all for sharing other creators. But if you put the uh, name of the channel or maybe the title of their video, I will find it and then I will link it if I uh, decide that it's it's really interesting and we can help them get some more exposure. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by and thank you PCB Way.